part A, we can say we know that the slope of each graph gives the corresponding component of the acceleration. And so we can find that a sub x equaling 3.00 meters per second squared, that would be the slope of that line. And then the slope of the y component would be negative 5.00 meters per second squared. So we could find the magnitude of the acceleration. This would be equaling the square root of 3.00 meters per second squared quantity squared plus negative 5.00 meters per second squared quantity squared and this is giving us 5.83 meters per second squared for uh, given this now we can find the force force is equaling the mass times the acceleration and so this is equaling 2.00 kilograms multiplied by 5.83 meters per second squared and this is giving us 11.7 newtons. So this would be our final answer for part A. For part B then, the direction of the force would be the same as the direction of the acceleration, given that of course mass is a scalar. So this would be arctan of negative 5.00 divided by 3.00, and so this is giving us 59 degrees below the positive x-axis. This would be our answer for part B. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.